Hey, what's going on today, guys? Today, I'm gonna to be doing an update video on this mining rig I built two weeks ago. It currently consists of two RTX 3060s, as well as one GTX 1060 video card right here. On NiceHash, that's about $7.50 per day right now of daily income. So we used these profits to purchase this new RTX 3070 video card right here. When overclocked, it does about 62 mega hash per second on Ethereum. That's going to bring the total hash rate of the rig up to 160 mega hash per second. In other words, that's roughly the equivalent to 1330 US dollars per month of gross revenue. And that's taking into consideration the current price of Ethereum, which is 4300 US dollars. In addition, it's also taking into consideration the current difficulty of Ethereum, which is 7700 terahash. And furthermore, we also purchased this new 100 foot Ethernet cable right here. That's going to increase the bandwidth of the rig by a lot because right now it's on a Wi Fi uh, PCI connection right here. And of course, with hardwire connection, you have it much better. And that's going to increase the performance for the mining uh, for having less stale shares. This one is 100 feet long, so it can be reached easily to the other side of the house to connect to the modem directly. So without further ado, hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you. Alright, so after getting four of the GPUs connected to the motherboard, we decided to fire it up. To the far left, you can see a 1060. Adjacent to that is a 3060, and then a 3070, as well as another 3060 directly on the motherboard. Now with these four GPUs connected to the motherboard, we kept on getting this repeating error on a boot up. So out of frustration, we decided to scrap the 1060 and only have three GPUs connected to the rig at this time. Looking back, I know the issue is pretty straightforward to figure out. All you need to do is enable above 4G decoding. However, at the time, we just wanted to have all RTX 3000 series cards on the rig. So right now we have all of the cards running on NiceHash mining Ethereum. And yeah, you can see there at the wall, it's drawing around 525 watts on average. Based on BC Hydro rates, that's roughly the equivalent to 80 US cents per day of operating costs. Here on MSI Afterburner, we are able to save a bit of power by putting the power limit down to 80%. And yeah, you can see on NiceHash, the three GPUs connected to the rig are currently making around $10.50 US cents per day. I know this is quite a bit less than initially anticipated. However, over the next few weeks, we are definitely going to have some more video cards coming in, specifically RTX 3070s. And not only that, but we're also going to be transitioning to a dedicated miner such as Phoenix Miner for mining Ethereum directly. So definitely stay tuned for that. We will have an update video up shortly. While we were at it, we also discovered some other interesting perks in NiceHash such as Auto Start. This allows the rig to start up mining on NiceHash right after a boot up. It can be really useful whenever you have power outages or loss of internet.
Anyway guys, I just want to say thanks for watching the video. We had a lot of fun building this rig. And of course, as mentioned, we learned some new interesting things along the way. Goodbye now.